Hello everyone, welcome back to Becca's Book Nook. Today I'm going to be doing the Do I Have That Trope tag. This video is going to be a little bit stressful since it's just going to be in pretty much one take. I'm going to just let the camera roll and see how long it takes for me to find all of these tropes on my bookshelf and show them to you guys so you can see what book I'm talking about. I'm hoping that you guys are going to be able to hear me okay. I don't yet have a microphone. I'm really just using my phone so hopefully you guys are going to be able to hear everything all right and if you don't I'll put all the books that I use in the description anyway. I'm going to try my best to only use a series for one trope but if for some reason I'm really struggling, I'm probably <laughs> going to gravitate towards the same series. I have watched a few of these videos months ago and I made a list of all the tropes, but I don't remember them anymore. So I'm just gonna be looking at them for the first time. I am really looking forward to doing this tag for you guys. I hope it's enjoyable to watch and I think we should just jump right into it. I am also sorry about this angle. My room is set up in a way where the window is like right beside my bookshelf so the lighting is just not the best at all. So I'm really gonna try and gravitate towards these books maybe but if you see me go down it's because I'm reaching for a book on the lower shelves. And the clock starts now. Trope number one, love triangle. I have so many books I could choose for this. <laughs> Clockwork Prince, Cassandra Clare, obvious reasons. Number two, Enemies to Lovers. The Hating Game, if you haven't read it, check it out, it's really great. Number three, The Chosen One. Harry Potter, duh. Number four, Found Family. Um, um, what can I possibly do for this one? Um, Throne of Glass, I'm gonna say, Throne of Glass, and she's, you know, Selena finds her family with Rowan and all the, Lysandra and all them, I hope that is right. Um, Grey morality characters, obviously. Six of Crows, every single one of them, especially Kaz. Competition. Um, Hunger Games, obvious reasons. Sibling rivalry. gonna go with Divergent. We all hate Kayla Pryor. Revenge plot. Lady Midnight. Entire book Emma's trying to find the people who killed her parents. Unexpected help right before the ending. Here comes the cavalry. Um, okay. I have a candle on top of this book. Court of Wings and Ruin. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. The ships, you know. Dark Lord. Oh, I should have saved Harry Potter for this. Dark, dark Lord, Dark Lord, Dark Lord, Dark Lord. Um, Shadow and Bone, the Darkling. He's trying to take over the world. Yeah, I think that counts. The Orphan Protagonist. Every single book ever. Let's find one. Oh, God. Orphan Protagonist, Orphan Protagonist. Orphan protagonist. Oh, oh, shoot. Um, orphan Protagonist that isn't... Um, oh my god, oh my god, orphan protagonist. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Orphan protagonist, oh, orphan protagonist, orphan protagonist. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, and literally every book ever, why can I not think of uh, who's an orphan? Orphan protagonist, um... Oh my god, I really don't want to reuse a series, but I might have- Okay, you know what? I have to. I have to. So I'm going to. Orphan. Protagonist. Orphan protagonist. Is there anything that I haven't done? I'm thinking of Emma. Harry. Um. Orphan. Orphan. Scarlet's an orphan. Scarlet's an orphan, right? Only her, gra her grandma is alive. Orphan. Scarlet's an orphan. I believe. Okay. That was way stressful than I thought. The quest. Okay. Percy Jackson, My Friends Borrowing My First Book. Friends to Lovers, okay, Friends to Lovers. Friends to Lovers, Friends to Lovers. Friends to Lovers. Friends to Lovers, Friends to Lovers, Friends to Lovers. Friends to Lovers. I have so many Friends to Lovers, Friends to Lovers. Why can I not, why can I not think of a single Friends to Lovers? Friends to Lovers, Friends to Lovers. Holy shit, Friends to Lovers. Okay. 
I'm number four. Um, that one, I haven't read these books in so long, but one of them gets with the other one. Um, John, John, and and I, I know what I'm talking about. I can't remember who it is, but there's friends to lovers in it for sure. Um, the book loving character. Oh, um, oh my God, Dorian will. Dorian will. I already used all. I already used both of those. Book loving character. Okay, okay, I haven't. I did Percy Jackson, but not Heroes of Olympus. Mark of Athena. Obviously, Annabeth loves her books. Okay. Um, amnesia. Oh, amnesia, amnesia, amnesia. 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 Doesn't remember. Amnesia. Okay. This isn't really amnesia, but it's going to be a little bit of a cheat. Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. As soon as they don't see her anymore, they don't remember her. So, they, yeah, amnesia. It's all their memories gone. Magic School. Magic School. Oh my god, why did I use Harry Potter so early? Magic school. Magic school. Magic school? Magic school. Magic school. Okay. Mm, that's not even... That's not even it. Magic school. Okay. Magic school. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I have to do it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going so slow. Holy shit. Um, the Bad Boy. The Bad Boy? There's like a bad boy in every book I've ever read ever. The Bad Boy. The Bad Boy? The Bad Boy. Literally every book. Why can I not... Oh god, I don't even have like I don't even have very many contemporaries here. The bad boy. Oh, okay. The bad boy. Who's a bad boy? The bad boy. Okay. Red Pyramid Anubis. He's a literally a yeah. And she still falls for him. Okay. The Resurrected. Okay. Oh, why did I take beautiful creatures off my shelf? The Resurrected. The res okay. Chain of Iron spoiler if you haven't read it yet. Jesse Blackborn Thorne was just resurrected by Lucy in at like the end of the book. Okay. Redemption arc. Okay. Redemption arc. Redemption arc. Redemption arc. Redemption arc. Where's the book that I just finished yesterday? Okay. To Kill a Kingdom, Lyra and Elian like both have a redemption arc. I just finished it yesterday. Um, and Forbidden Love. This is the last one. Forbidden Love, Forbidden Love, Forbidden Love. Oh my god, Forbidden Love, Forbidden Love. Okay. Um, Forbidden Love. Twilight. They, she, he's a vampire. They're not supposed to get together. And they do anyway. Okay, that's it. <sighs> that was so stressful. God. I did it in like just under seven minutes. I don't know if that's good. I can't remember. I haven't watched videos about this tag in a really long time. My bookshelf looks empty. I just have genuinely a pile of books on my bed. Yeah, uh, that was really a lot more stressful than I thought it was going to be. I hope you enjoyed watching me scramble around. I think I did a pretty good job and I feel like I used Harry Potter so fast and there was like a thousand Harry Potter books that I could have chosen. There really is no rule that I can't repeat a series, I just didn't want to, so I had to, but... I feel pretty good about that. That was pretty fast. If you did have fun watching this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. I'm trying to post a lot more frequently. Comment down below if you think I messed anywhere up or if you think you need clarification on any of my choices. And if I was like dumb and couldn't think of a choice that I should have chosen, please let me know. Um, yeah, I would love to know your thoughts and yeah, I will link some of my socials down below if you want to follow me on there. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Have a phenomenal day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.